What are you doing in this hobby if you do not have a personal collection? The collector is the most important person in this hobby. Do you know why? And people are like, oh, well, what about the flipper and the investor? Well, when the flipper and the investor has to pay for bananas, baby formula, and rent, what happens? Who survives? The collector will always be in sports cards. Remember the words, the sports card collectors will always be here. There will always be adjustments. And it's been like this since the beginning. And anybody that collected in the 90s knows exactly what I'm talking about. And if you collected after the recession in 2008, like when I joined the hobby, you got a very good idea about this thing. I'm giving away two free Prism basketball packs to two comments down below. Like this video and comment down below. Are you guys ready for this? If you had to give advice to a brand new sports card, Pokemon, entertainment, autograph collector, what piece of advice would you give them? Comment that down below. The hobby of collecting is great. You can make money. To anybody watching this, you can make money doing this hobby. It takes a lot of work. There's nothing, there's no cookie cutter way to do it. Most people that make money in this hobby, it's it's off luck. There's a lot of speculation and luck. It's all timing and everything else, you know, and there's a lot of people that just are good at doing what they're doing. In my experience, anytime I've ever made hot money in this hobby, it's always been off luck. My focus in these next six to eight weeks is gonna be education of the hobby. I've been collecting since I was 14 years old. I'm 28 years old now. I've seen a lot. Am I a guru? No. But what I can do is share my experience with you guys. And today, we're gonna talk about what is a PC. We got the whiteboard out. Whiteboard's a great way to get ideas out. So a PC is a personal collection, right? You have an option here for a personal collection. You can choose a team or a player. Why would you want to PC someone? I PC DeMarcus Cousins. I PC the Sacramento Kings. There is a collector out there, which is inside every single one of you. And this collector knows that if I collect these specific cards, I could not care less how much money they go for. They are part of my PC which is these Pokemon cards, for example. This is a new PC I started. I want to challenge everybody in this community. Pick one player or team to collect this year. If you haven't done it, find that person, right? Why would you PC them? So I, I'm drawing the bubble here. So here's the factors. We could be from, they could be from your hometown. They could be the way they, the play style. It could be from the city you live in. They could be alumni. They could be the GOAT. They could play the same position as you, personal relation. I can't think of the, the last one. Oh, nostalgia, nostalgia is huge. Why do you think I'm collecting Pokemon? I didn't spell nostalgia right, whatever. There's factors, right? Hometown, play style, they're the GOAT. Personal relation to the position they play. I don't know about you guys, but when I played football, I played D-line. I've always watched D-linemen play and linebackers. Alumni, city, nostalgia, right? Factor in why you're gonna collect that person. And if you don't, still don't know, Take your time and pick it. But I I could tell you honestly, like this Pokemon adventure I'm doing right now is all off nostalgia. My brother used to buy me these when I was a kid and we used to he used to set up at a stand and sell Pokemon cards back when we were kids. And I didn't understand this at all, but he would bring me back some of my favorite ones and they were not slab, by the way. I'm tapping back in. I wanna collect the original Pokemon. That's something I'm gonna tap in. Marcus Cousins, I grew up watching him. He's my favorite player. The guy gave me shoes off of his feet, his jersey. I mean, he was so good to me over the years. Next, Blaze Jordan, right? Blaze is a part of this hobby, Celebrity Card Breakers. I've never actually met him, but I love that he's involved in the hobby. To me, it's cool to see some player that is enjoying what we love. Players can sign these tens of thousands of these stickers and just like, you know, know nothing about it. But when they start to tap in and they wonder like, what's my card value? Or man, why are these, why are the kids opening all these packs and they're looking for my autographs? You know, stuff like that. And like, there's different players out there that are, that are collecting actively. Evan Longoria, Jake LaRavia from the Grizzlies, you know, guys like that. That's so cool to me. And I would love to collect those players. If I see an Evan Longoria card, I try to make a move on it because he collects and he, he's kind of one of us. And I think it's cool to see that. At the end of the day, you go to your card show, you get, you get swamped on a deal, you lose $500. You buy a $500 hobby box and you get $20 back, right? Where are you winning there? You're not, you're disappointed. But I can honest to God tell you, when you get a PC, there's something fulfilling. It's like, I can go to a show and if I flip a coin, it's heads I win or tails I win. Do you know why? Because there's a multiple factors. I network, I connect, and I also collect. I mean, it's crazy how I just said all that, but you know, I can come back and get a De'Aaron Fox rookie and I know that I can put this in my five row box, you know, and I come home after a long day and look at this. 
I come after a long day and look at this. I am sorting. We are sorting. We've got rows of cards, right? And I know that the De'Aaron Fox stuff goes in this row, the Rogers stuff goes in this stuff. This is like a smaller portion of the collection. At the end of the day, you know, I've got all my sorting. You know, I don't know about you guys, but as collectors, we like to be organized. I mean, look at this. Anthony Simons, rookies, you know, rookies, 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 all these rookies, Damian Lillard. You know, I'm sorting rookies right now. But it just, we are, we are the most organized, obsessed people you'll ever meet if you... <laughs> If you see a card collector, you know, and, and there's nothing wrong with selling sports cards and flipping and investing. I have no budge about it. I do it. I've got some money tied up into both of these Brady's, you know, I definitely have a chunk of change in both these Brady's and these are, you know, my PC and Tom know, but like, I'm okay keeping these, you know, I have always, you know, reference this from like Armin Blue and just guys that I've known throughout the years by the goats, right? At the end of the day, the Brady's, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the Brady's, one of those Brady's is, is down from what I could have sold it for at peak, but you know, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, like they're long-term holds for me. So I can move them whenever. I've had them for so long. I've I've moved around so much into it. Um, it doesn't really matter anymore, you know? And like, I don't know guys, just like, you know, an example of being like flipping, right? So like quick flips, like I've been into this whole like Kenny Pickett thing, right? Like. Do I collect Kenny Pickett? No, do I think he has a good chance? Probably, do I think these are gonna go up during August and like during the national speculation? Yeah, hopefully, but it's like, I'm taking chances. Uh, one thing I've done well on this channel, I've never ever told you guys what to buy. I have no clue what you should buy. The whole saying is buy what you like, right? Why am I buying Justin Fields and Pickett? Because I like them both, but I liked Trey Lance last year and I lost over $1,500, so how, how much do I really know? It's all luck, right? I'm just taking my chances. You guys are watching this channel. You're watching me just pull the trigger on stuff and like, you're probably like, oh my God, this guy's crazy. But like, at times I know when to flip stuff and I know when to keep stuff, you know? And I've definitely had my fair share of, you've seen my, if you watch my sports card losses video, I picked Davis Mills and Trey Lance. Look what happened last year. I'm picking Kenny Pickett and Justin Fields. If this doesn't work, I'm not buying quarterbacks ever again. Anybody that's watching this channel that's saying I've got them into sports cards, you know, my my honest advice is find this PC. You know, find that player, find that team. It could be your hometown, a go play style, city, personal relation, whatever. They could be a family friend, collect them. And every time you see their cards, buy them at a card show. So then you have something to fall back on. We go to these shows and we expect to make, if you're going to a show and you're expecting to make thousands of dollars, the hard truth is, is like that doesn't happen at all times. Like, let's be real about this thing. Like, I love making deals and buying cards, but like, f I don't know about you guys, but if you've been watching my videos for the last eight months, I've been buying more than I've been selling. And I buy to sell online, you know, to the, hard, the cold hard facts is I sell better online than I do at shows, but I also, <laughs> at shows it's it's different for me because we make content and and our brand is you know we're trying to interview people and get stories and like make deals and walk around we don't always stay at the table so it's a little different you know my 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 dealer setup has changed a lot if you go back and watch my old dallas videos i was all in on setting up as a dealer and like getting deals done in trades and this and that i just it's hard it's hard to do that uh at that level now i challenge everybody watching this video is to form a pc before the nash pc the center for the packers or the center for the jets or PC Evan Longoria or Blaze Jordan because they collect cards like us. Like find that PC or a soccer player or hockey player. That uh, There's that new uh, Bedard guy. He's gonna be so expensive, probably wouldn't recommend. Another thing too about PCing, like if you gotta go like an arm and a leg to PC that person, like I'm telling you right now, you don't have to do that. Perfect example, I'm PCing Aaron Rodgers. Do you think I've ever spent three to $500 on any of his autographs? Absolutely not. I refuse to buy Aaron Rodgers autographs for that much because I can meet him and I've gotten him to sign a bunch of stuff. Warning, warning. We're gonna talk about money for a second here. You guys, I wanna give you a quick piece of advice from my experience. I do not mix PC spending money with my investment and flipping and the Mojo Sports business money. I will not do it. And this is my advice to you guys. If you form a PC, separate your money out, I won't trade a lot of my cards for PC cards. If I really want a PC card, I usually buy it. I usually buy it and I'm okay with it. And I have a fund separate from all my flipping and investing money, the Jackie Robinsons, the Brady's, the Curry Ricky autos, all that stuff I have. I separate that out completely. And the reason why is because I wanna keep it more organized. 
and I, I'm running a business. You cannot run a business and have emotional value into the business. This is where you separate emotions and logic. If I have $7,000 in my PC fund and I gotta buy the DeMarcus Cousins for 5K, it's not a good time. I would rather have 15,000 in my PC fund. What I do and how does that money in the PC fund go up is I, I actually add money to spend toward the PC. Like if I flip, if I flip one of these Brady's for $7,000 and I get like a couple thousand return, I'll put a thousand dollars into the PC fund so I can pick up a DeMarcus card at the national, you know? That's the key is financing like this whole operation. This isn't the way everybody does it, but for me, this works. And if you have a different way of doing it, I would love to know, but I've been doing this since you know I was 14. I, I knew selling LeBron James autographs when he played for the Miami Heat. When I sold them, I knew I was like, all right, I'm gonna buy some Tyreek Evans autographs. I'm gonna, you know, I got a fund going to Kings games. I wanna meet Kobe. I wanna meet Paul Pierce. I need to pay for tickets. I gotta pay for gas to go to the team hotel. There was different factors going on from 14 until 28. You know, it's a little different now. Um, now I gotta pay rent. You know, this 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 place here, you know, a couple thousand dollars a month, it's, uh, you know, you guys are watching me grow up, but it's like, man, bro, when that starts hitting, you're like, oof, like I gotta, I gotta be smarter about the way I do things. You know, back in the old collecting days on the blowout forums, the YouTube, the sports card forum, sportscollectors.net, it wasn't about ego. It wasn't about investing. It wasn't about money. It was, it was just like, just collect, like if you collected like, you know, Kenny Pickett, for example, there was people, there was great people out there that would, they would know your address from a deal and they would send you Kenny Pickett rookies just because they knew you collected them. It's like when people gift me DeMarcus cards, like I, I try to give back, man, like especially in the PO box, you guys have been sending a lot of things. Like I'm trying to give back in the videos and like find out what other people collect. Like I want to know because then when I come across those cards, I want to send them to people, you know, like I want to get back into that. I want to start sending out cards that people collect. But th I think this is something the hobby is missing is like the PC is like, you guys don't understand. Like this is what the hobby is built. I leave you with these final words and you form that PC and you're on my videos. I want you to tell me about your PC. Tell me about all the pickups you've had of Trevor Lawrence or DJ Chark or LaVisca Chenault or Debo Samuel, tell me about them. Tell me about why you like them. I, I want this so much more than any investment or how much money anybody's made. Be the investor, be the flipper, but be a collector. Let's get this collector going, all right? Um, you know, I have this platform and you know, I know people learn a lot from my videos and there's people that, you know, probably don't um, understand a lot of this stuff at this level, but like I'm trying to be more educational this year on the channel. I love sports cards. Sports cards changed my life. When I went through the toughest times in my life, whenever I went through a breakup or when my sister passed away or my family was struggling or we lost people, this hobby was the best thing that ever happened to me because it always was there for me. And, and even the best part, during the most amazing moments, when the brand started, when I got my first DeMarcus Cousins game use jersey, when I got my logo man, when I got my grail card, when I got to collect and connect with all you guys at the National, uh, going to shows all around the United States, meeting new shop owners, meeting all the kids out there that you know are starting to collect in the next generation of the hobby, you know, learning about things I don't know about, such as NHL hockey, NS, NWSL soccer, WNBA, um, you know, golf, all these things, all these things you guys have shown me throughout the years. Like, I wouldn't trade it for the world. You guys have tr tr just treated me with so much respect and love. And, and I want you to know that, like, I want to put that back out. And this hobby is the greatest hobby in the world. And if anything happens, you know, at the end of the day, if I lose all my investment money, guess what? I still have the hobby, the community, and my PCs. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was straight from the heart. I'm just, I just love this hobby so much. I, I, it means the world to me, you know, and I'm passionate about this thing. And, and, and I hope that that passion or something inspires you guys to find that PC. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm live on Whatnot once a week. I do dollar off. We do a ton of free giveaways on there. Use that link down below. Your first $10 to spend on there. And lastly, my Zion case code. If you want that Zion case to protect your cards, use the code MOJO10. And I love you guys so much. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And thank you guys as always. Peace.